Hey guys, Michael Shamblin here with a video tutorial. This one might not be so quick, it's a little bit more advanced. Um, I've been getting a lot of questions on how to do star stacks, star trails, stacked images, and how I achieve that method. And though I don't do many of these images, I figured it would still be something good to cover. Um, and funny enough, I did a star trail last night, and I need to layer this star trail anyways, so I figured why not I'll do a tutorial while I actually work on one of my images. So I've got all my images here in this uh, nice folder. They're all sequenced. Um, what I did was I did a base edit in Lightroom. I exported them all as high quality JPEGs. Right now I'm going to show you two different methods. One is super simple. If you're satisfied with that, you can go ahead and shut the video off after, uh, or you can stay for the more advanced tutorial where we get into how to create those little, um, they kind of mimic like meteors or, or shooting stars. Uh, we're going to do that after we do the simple method. So the program you're going to want is Star Stacks right down here. It's a really awesome program. Um, you can get it for free and uh, just type in Star Stacks into Google. So what we're going to do is open up our images using this, uh, this first button. Go ahead and find where your images are. I've got 70, so it might take a little while to load. I guess not. Um, so yeah, here's all of our images. They should all be in order, which is what I want. Now, in the preferences, you're going to want to set the blend mode to lighten. Always be on lighten. Um, you can use average for other stuff like sunsets, but for these star trails, all you want to see are the, the little, you know, tiny bits of white uh, shine through to the next image. And light, using the lighten uh, blend mode is going to help with that. Um, you can subtract dark frames if you want. Um, pretty much everything else should already be set for you. Um, and when you want to start the stacking process, go ahead and press this button right here. It's the fourth one from the first button. So we're going to start that. Um, I'm probably going to speed up this process because it's going to take a while. Alrighty guys, so it looks like our star trail is done. Um, it looks pretty good. I, I'm pretty satisfied with this. The only thing that I don't really like are these plane trails down here. I will show you guys how to remove plane trails from your images in the next tutorial. But for now, let's continue back with the star trail image. Um, so you've got this beautiful image. You really like the way it looks. Let's go ahead and save it. It's the third one from the left. Save as, stacked image, you can name it whatever you want. I guess I'll put it into our star stack folder and call it. Whatever you want. Yep. Click save. Great. Let's see how that came out. Should have saved it into this folder right here. Awesome, fantastic. So that is the first method of doing these star stack shots. Let me show you the more advanced method now, and this one is gonna take a while. Uh, the first thing you're gonna wanna do, open up Photoshop. Any version of Photoshop should work as long as it's fairly recent. Um, go ahead and go to File, Scripts, load files into stack. We're gonna go ahead and browse for all those images that we opened in star stack. We're not gonna to wanna to open our star trail image though. All we wanna do is open the original single files. I believe I have like 70 of them. Click open. And leave these two checked off. You don't need them. As long as your tripod is sturdy, you will not need automatically aligned source images you do not need a smart object. So go ahead and click OK. And it will take a while if you have a lot of images because right now it's stacking every single image 
rather than opening all the files, it is opening all of them and then creating a document with everything layered. Uh, you can see it's already brought three of our images in here. So I'm going to go ahead and let this wait uh, and do a time lapse so that we're not waiting. Alrighty, looks like all of our images are done. So, so let's see here. The first thing to consider is what type of star trail do we want to do here? Obviously, we don't want to do a normal star trail like the one we just did before because the one we just did before we can easily do with an automated program like Star Stacks. So the main reason we're here is to do a really unique star trail. And I think what might be cool is to do kind of like this uh, meteor type star trail. And I'm going to show you guys how to do that right now. So it looks like it layered everything, all of our images. And it put the first image in our sequence up at the top. I'm guessing the last image is going to be at the bottom. So what I want to do is start at the bottom because I want to start with the very last image that I took and I'm going to create kind of this uh, meteor uh, where, where it looks, you know, they're all going to look like shooting stars. Basically, they're going to be very sharp on one side and then they're going to kind of gradate out. Uh, so uh, we're going to start off with the first image and what I am going to do is go to filter. We're going to go to Lens Blur. Alrighty guys, so now that we have our Lens Blur open, um, you're going to want to create a bigger radius, maybe to 10, to make some of these stars a lot bigger. And uh, I've got the radius, yeah, the radius is about 10, brightness is about 50. You can even, you know, tweak this stuff a little bit more. I'm going to go back to 10 with it. Okay, and go ahead and click OK. There we go, so it's given our last image kind of these bigger, almost blurry stars. So now you might want to skip like four images just so there's some space in between the bigger star and your, uh, your other trails and start off with whatever you want. You can make a gap or you can make no gap at all. Um, what you're going to want to do is set the image to lighten, which should be right over screen. And then 100% should be fine. And then you're going to want to select the next image. Make sure that one's on lighten. But this time you want to go down to maybe 95% opacity. Go to the next image. Make sure again it's on lighten. Go down to 90%. And uh, what you want to do for this method is just keep going down with the opacity to a certain extent. You can go down 5%, you can go down 10%. And you keep doing this until you've reached however many images you want or, you know, if it looks good. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do this because it's going to take a while and then uh, we'll come back to it. Alrighty guys, so now we have created our little mini meteor shower uh, using Photoshop. I started to gradate a little bit more towards the end, you know, going like 1%, 2%, you know, 3%, 5%, 7%, 8%. You know, I, I just wanted that smooth transition at the end. But, you know, you can do this with as many or as little images as you want. Um, so, you know, the other thing we could do now that we've finished it is tweak it, you know, maybe we want some more space in between our, 
uh, you know, Meteor and, and the, uh, and the trails. Now we have more space, you know, we can go back on that. Uh, we can even, you know, make these first stars bigger if we want. Um, you know, maybe we didn't make the blur big enough. Maybe we want these stars to be a little larger, but, um, this should give you a pretty good idea of how to do star trails. Um, you know, if you would like to see more, go ahead and check out my website, which is shadebloomphoto.com, and uh, leave any sort of suggestions for new tutorials in the comments.